All right, so the first step is to cut off the ends. There's some um, tinted areas, but I'm gonna get rid of that completely. I'm gonna be using the 30 um, amp uh, connectors so that I, when I put it in here, it'll grab some of the um, housing. So I'm gonna use my wire strippers here and we're just gonna to have to gauge this and figure out if we're gonna to need to cut a lot or a little bit. I'm gonna do what I usually do, cut out that much. And I really don't know how much that is. Let's see, uh, in inches, oh, about a quarter of an inch. You really can't see that, but about a quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch. I didn't know that. Now I know. Okay, and they're not all the time, and they're even, but <clears throat> good enough. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tongue and then slip it here and see if I slip it all the way in. That's not going to work very well. So I'm going to be kind of careful. And when I put it in there, not to put it all the way, I just need it so that it will clip some of the housing of the wire. And for this one, same thing. Okay, well, we'll try it. <clears throat> so we're going to be using 30. The I like the lip going down and making sure not to put it all the way in, but enough to clip some of the plastic. That's going to be super challenging. There, let's see. Okay. That's pretty solid. Okay, let's try the next one. Again, put the item, I call it a tongue. <laughs> Looks like a tongue on the 30. This is actually, this is a 20 gauge wire. 15, the 15 amp tongue might be good enough for it. But, I decided to use the 30 ones. Okay, that's pretty solid. It did um, bind to the housing. And <clears throat> one, of the, one of the things that are kind of fickle with very thin wire when you're using Anderson power pole housings is that it's really hard to clip this in Especially if these are 15. I've never had good luck with them. So I'm not using 15. But if 15 works for you, that's this is good. Because the housing on these, you can use uh, 15, 30, or 40. 15, 30? I was, I'm going to say 45, right? These, long, these bigger ones. These bigger ones are 45. Uh, okay. So the wire... If you look, inspect the wire, there's a white line or, or dotted, striped line. That's positive, okay? This is my housing for the Anderson power pole. There's a piece of metal that goes along the bottom here. And there's an A, you can't really see it, but there's an A over here. And so what I'm doing, I believe it's upside down. All right, so I'm gonna take the positive uh, lead here and what I'm going to do is practically slide it in Boop. hopefully okay so it has to be kind of straight not kind of it has to be and it's always challenging to me to put these if the wire is not very thick it's always I don't know how to use 
this tool. This is this tool is a removal. I know I know how to remove the piece. This what I call a tongue. I don't know how to put it in here. Now I could probably use something else, maybe like a screwdriver. Screwdriver has helped before. But you would think these would be a little easier to put in. And sometimes you forget what you're doing, so you gotta slow down. Just make sure you're doing the right thing. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Did that go through? Sometimes it's a little hard to see. Yes, it went through. Interesting. Okay, very hard to see. But I don't know if you heard the click. But it went all the way over. And now it's um, <clears throat> the tongue piece is locked into this metal that's down there. Okay, that's one. Um, I wonder, is it too late to put a boot? Um, probably. Uh, maybe I can put it on the other side. Nah, we'll just leave it like that. Okay. This right here, this tongue is incorrect. The tongue is like this. I need to switch it over. So I'll just twist it. It's not a big deal. Just twist it so now the tongue will fit through here and lock itself in there. Hopefully. With a little coaching. And some luck. Sometimes one will go in nicely. And then the next one is just a pain in the behind. But, <laughs> wow. I got lucky. Both of them got in. Look at that. That's really neat. Okay, then what I like to do is I have this tester, and it's not going to turn on, but this tester, I've got to make sure that that's fit it nicely. And it is. Very nice. Okay. And if you want a video on how to do this Anderson power poles like step by step I have one um, you can always watch it uh, I don't know it's like 30 minutes long I just talk 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 uh, trying to explain how to do these because it takes a little while to figure it out okay now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, this this part to my solar generator and if all goes well, then uh, it, it's going to start charging my VX6. If not, you're going to see a big burn. Um, well, we'll find out. All right, here's the, the plug. Let's plug it in. Charging. Saw that? <laughs> a moment there, I got a little worried. That's awesome. And now, I don't have to carry around the uh, 12 volt, uh, it's like a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter that I usually carry. I can carry this instead, much lightweight. I can put it in my bag very easily. And um, this is going to be perfect for the ARRL field day uh, if I need this to be charged. Um, for an all-day event well I hope that was entertaining and useful information um, please subscribe please consider uh, giving this video a thumbs up and I hope to see you soon this is Frank Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar